and here, <laughs> as soon as I was gonna say, and here we go, this guy just started screaming. What's wrong? What's wrong, baby? <laughs> he just started screaming for no reason. All right. So what I was gonna say is, and here we go, because today is me and Ma Bear's collab on some Korean food. So for me, all I'm doing is grilling up some meat that was pre-marinated and uh, making these little lettuce wrap things, but Ma Bear has the big, big job of making actual dishes. Uh -uh. And she is, she already looks like she knows what she's doing. Look at this, bam! Do I? We got everything that we bought yesterday. Pancake mix, Korean chili powder, but just all these ingredients. I have never seen this many Korean ingredients in our house before. I know, that's nuts, huh? I'm so proud of you. Why? The fact that you're even attempting this. Well, I eat it enough to recognize if the flavor is on or off a bit. Yeah. Um, but yes, I, I'm i going to pat myself on the back for this one because uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, and you're Mexican. And I don't know. Well, actually, and I don't know. I don't know how to cook. I think that's the bigger thing no. outside of being Mexican. Well, so here's the thing. If you're white, right, you don't know how to cook, you probably know how to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Which I know how to do. Because you're white, so you should be able to make it. Same thing with if you're Chinese, you probably know how to throw broccoli in a wok and throw some soy sauce and make some stir fry. Mexicans are known to make Mexican food, and this is Korean food. But I just realized all food in L.A., is cooked by Mexicans. So you actually might have a, uh, what is the word? A head first, a foot first. You're head, dumb, door, get out the of door. this kitchen. You actually have a, get out of here. what is that word called? A, a foot first? Out. No, no, like a head start. Is it a head start? <laughs> you actually have a head start with this because somehow all the Mexicans cook the best Indian, Korean, Chinese food. <laughs> Are you eating something sour? <laughs> is something sour in there? <laughs> <laughs> this is dumb. Some dumb this is awesome. I'm so proud of you, Mama. Thank you, baby. I'm gonna give you a big fat kiss. Thanks. Your <laughs> over there. Okay. Thank you. Uh oh. There he goes. There he goes. Taika! Taika, I'm on this side. Can you hear me? I'm on this side now. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Oh, your security guards are around you. What in the world is that? Is that eggs? No, it's uh, firm tofu. They want you to break it up finely. But what's yeah. really cool about this book, at least, um, is that they want you to use, or they want you to um, cook just using your hands, which is really cool. So they're not like, use a special tool to break this up. They're like, use your hands to season it. Use your hands to like dig in there and like um, connect with like the ingredients. I really like, like cooking and eating with my hands. You know that? I think it's like super primal versus when you eat with like chopsticks or a knife and a fork. Yeah. Like one of the things that I really like. Animal. No, one thing I really, really like about tacos yeah. is uh, you're eating it with your hands. It just feels primal and there's this type of satisfaction you can't get. Like imagine you buy tacos, right? Like yeah. four tacos. Yeah. And now you're cutting it up with knife and fork. It's just not as. That's weird. Yeah. It just, it just feels like there's distance between you and the food. Fine. So I do like this. I agree. This is pretty cool. I've never seen tofu mashed up like this. What are you going to do next? Uh, cut up a couple scallions. Ooh, you little scallion cutter. Yep. All right, I was gonna go in for a close up oh, and sorry. it disappeared. <laughs> sorry, I don't have time for like I. I there's a lot of. <laughs> I was like this. There's a lot of things oh, that. Awesome wood. <laughs> there's a lot of uh, times that I have to keep up with. Okay, fine. So I can't. Fine. I can't just like. I'm sorry. Gotcha. I get you. Bye. What step is this? Uh, just cutting the noodle now. I don't even know if this is the right way to cut it. But it's just to cut up the noodles? Yeah. Oh, cool. I'm trying to cut the way you want me to cut. Yeah, try not to press because then you're always going to mash the food up. You always want to slice. Like, go try to go. Try to think of making the strokes as long as possible. Yep, like that. It's kind of hard. Nice. There it goes. There you go. See? Yep. Just like that. Good job. Thanks. <laughs> it just looks like you're squishing worms, like killing them. They feel like worms. These little earthworms coming out of the grass after a rainy day. Yeah, they feel kill like them. it. Kill them. Yeah, they feel like it, all right. 
Nice. I've never seen this done in real life. Like I have to ask David how to do this because yeah. I could be doing it completely wrong. Yeah. So I'm just going based off of words in a book. It I looks should... delicious. I'm so dumb. In this day and age, we have the internet. I should be watching a YouTube video. But I like shit the hard way. That's awesome. It's a different experience. Fine. I'm going to like watch a video and be like, fuck, I messed up so bad. Maybe. Or maybe you invented a new way. There you go. Yep, nice and slice. Thanks. All right, time for baby cam. Let's see what mommy's doing. Hey, mommy. Hey, baby. What are you doing over there? I'm making you, well, maybe not you, but making your dad some food. That looks good. Thanks, baby. When can I eat some? When your teeth come in. Son of a bitch. Hey. Don't say that. Okay. I won't say that anymore. How can you sound just like your dad? <laughs> nah, -uh. this is a dad's voice. Is that that goes inside the dumplings? The I have no idea. <laughs> or you're just cutting stuff up you don't even know yet? I'm just preparing all the ingredients. Oh, okay. Looks legit. Thanks. Good job, bikini. Thanks. Going back to watch some TV. <laughs> Bye, baby. Bye. Playtime. Playtime. It's your favorite fox. It's your favorite fox. It's your favorite fox. It's your favorite fox. Kiss. Mm -hmm. Kiss. It's your favorite fox. Oh, you move your eyes very good. Look over here. Oh, you're drooling. You're drooling. You're drooling. It's your favorite. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. So every single day we try to give them a, a little bit more tummy time. And that preps them to keep their head up and also preps them to start crawling. And you can kind of see he knows um, how to move around a little bit just because like one elbow is in front of the other. And you'll see him trying to root, uh, move his rear knees and feet like squirming around. And he's starting to like get in the right mechanics to start crawling. But he's not old enough or strong enough or have the muscular development to completely crawl yet. But this helps him out. Good boy. Here's your fox. Can you grab your fox? Or is your arm stuck there? Let's see. Let's get your arm out of here. Here's your little foxy. Can you grab your little fox? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost there. Oh, you getting tired? Okay. We'll put you on your back soon. Ooh, now it's my favorite part, cooking the meat. Do you have to season it a certain way or no? Mm -mm. So what all do you do? All the seasoning is here. Oh, it's in there? So yeah. all you have to do is just cook it up a little bit? Yeah, I'm cooking it up. And then uh, I'm going to throw in all of this stuff. Do you I have to know. cook this too or you just throw that yeah, in here? No, I, cook, I throw that in here and they cook together. Ooh, nice. And then you start wrapping them? Yeah. And I have the mandu there. And we have baby, the baby. Cry, baby. Baby, did you think you're alone? You're not alone. We're here. Hey, look, we're right here. Good boy. Good boy. See, we're right here, dude. Hey. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Well. Um, so as I'm doing all this stuff, I learned yeah. one very vital thing yeah. about cooking. I like yeah. how Taika is just chilling watching me cook too. I know, sorry um, for the shaky camera because I'm using only one hand after the <laughs> sitting on the counter while I stabilize him. Um, the one thing I did learn is reading everything first, understanding, in terms of following ingredients, yeah. reading where everything is going because I was just kind of following what I knew in terms of like step by step. Yeah. So one of the things called for, um... Cutting the cabbage finely. Yeah. So I was cutting it what my terms of finely was, but then when I saw that it needs to go in the mandu, which 
I don't ever remember seeing, but I could be tripping. Yeah. Um, like I, I cut it too much. So if I would have read ahead and yeah. I like saw the steps, hi. <laughs> he was just staring at me. Uh, and I saw what was going where, I would have approached it completely different. So. Kind of keeping like big picture in mind. Yeah, exactly. But, Still looks yummy though. Well, we'll see once it goes in. I can already see myself struggling to uh, make it fit in the monthly skin. Oh, you didn't cut it enough, you mean then? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you cut it too coarse and it needed to be even more shredded? Uh, I think it needed to be maybe even smaller. I see. This is finely cut, but... Yeah. Yeah. Um, what you can do, you can pour that whole thing on a cutting board and just dice it up real quick some more if you want to. Nah, it's okay. I got some scissors and I just started cutting it. Oh, okay. We'll see how it goes. If I mean, it's the first time. If it doesn't come out as blend, I'm not going to be heartbroken. I'm just like, okay, cool. I know what to do next time. Okay. I think it's going to be delicious. Thank you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you want some too, huh? You're probably like 1% Korean. If I'm 3%, you're 1%. 1.5%. Ooh. I don't know. Wow. And the Korean raviolis began. This smells really good. Thanks. What's in that brush thing? Sesame oil? No, just water. Oh, it's just water? Yeah. And what is that used for? To seal it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Is there a certain technique you're supposed to use to like press it together? It's just, uh, just, it just said to pinch it. Yeah. But because I'm a visual person, I just yeah. looked at what that looked like and I'm like, all right, just gotta make it look like that. Interesting. You know what's pretty cuny? What? Um, growing up as a kid, I used to help my mom make dumplings all the time. Oh, then help me. <laughs> Dad, that was not what I was expecting. Oh, I was trying to share a, a memory. I was like, you know, me and my dad, we used to go that's fucking beautiful, on these but fishing trips. Like, the fucking cut the fish! Oh, I didn't say it like that. Oh, did fine. I say it like that? Yeah. I did, I'm sorry. I'm just like, damn, you, you're a pro at this. Help a brother out. Here, hold the camera. Uh, uh, yeah, just hold it. Who cares? I'll show you how the Chinese people do it. Yeah. So, out of all these Korean dumplings, one of them will be Chinese. It should be a little bit because the thing is a little bit. A little bit more than that or like this? That, that's fine. Okay. So what do you do? You get this and you just... Well, it's, it has a lot of water so you want to take out... Yeah. It's only supposed to be half but that works. Okay. And this is how Chinese Because these people... things fall apart really fast. Okay. Damn, I haven't done. Damn, my hands are way bigger since I did this. I remember it being so easy because I was a tiny ass kid. But you would fold it like this. That's how you seal the edges. Oh, that's so cute. Cuny. This is awesome. You fold it like that. So you notice how the Chinese ones have like a little pattern? Yeah. And there's like a little fold. I'm sure Koreans have something like that. I'm just fucking it all up. So the Chinese ones always have like this little pattern. And then that way when you eat it, there's also that like little doughy bite. Yeah, I love that part. So, so kind of gives it that like... That's so cool. Gives it a little bit different How texture. How cute. <laughs> we have one random Chinese one in the middle of all the Korean Mexican ones. Well, I would say the Mexican ones. Here. But well, how does this one look like? Is it... It kind of has a little bit of folds. Like maybe just like... But they're way, way bigger than these ones. Yeah. Well, I thought that that's what I was doing. Because it kind of looks like it. No? I don't know. No, I think you're doing a great job. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I have to take the vlog over because Papa is feeding the boy, boy on the table. <laughs> uh, but uh, the mandu is done. I have deep fried it and steamed it. There was a lot. It said it would make 20, but either I didn't get the right size mandu or I don't know. But I measured everything the way they needed to. Or the mandu skin, I should say, because um, we made 30. And then we cooked about like 10, 10 to 12. Uh, and yeah, that was the final product. Look, how have it steamed? So it's crunchy and soft. I so, eat one. me too. I want to eat one. It's probably really hot right now. Are you sure? You can take a picture with my phone. I'm going to send it to David. Sure. And we'll show him the finished product. All right, here we go. So, tell him about how we've been updating David because we're making Korean food. You could tell him. Okay. So, it is. Take a picture. And I'm sending. All right, what were you saying? So we've been uh, updating David about this whole like 
Mama Bear Korean food extravaganza because David's Korean and he cooks really well and, and he's super into Korean food. So we've just been updating him whenever we have questions we ask him and stuff. So I can't, I can't wait to show David what Mama Bear's been making. Thank you. Yeah, it helps when you have a circle of friends that is super encouraging. I know you guys might, well not you guys because you guys are our fans and you guys get it, but um, yeah, when we mess around on JK News or JK Party or whatever, it's just light bend her, but we really do love each other and we support everything that we do. Um, so I was super stoked to know that my friends knew what I was up to. And I made the dipping sauce and that's called, no that's not what it's called. The dipping sauce is called, I tasted it already and it's pretty bomb. This one, choga, choganjang. I hope I didn't botch that up, but all right, you ready to try? It's gonna be hot. Here's a dipping sauce. Oh, that well, looks good. Okay, hold on. Let that me looks move. legit. I'm gonna dip my finger in first. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. Oh, damn, it's bomb. Okay. Now I'm gonna bring some mandu over. Let's hope it's good. It's gonna be really hot, okay? Don't let it drip. Mmm, <coughs> look good. <laughs> Oh, Alright, I'm gonna take from you. Mm. Let's see. I won't hit it. I think it's yummy. I think you did a great job. So proud of you, Mom, man. Is this the first thing you made? No, I made a lot of stuff I mean, for you. Besides the blue apron stuff. No, I made stuff for you. Oh, fine. But like, some home style stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Like, yes, yes, like, yes. There's yes. like cooking steak. Yes. Yes. And then there's like yes. gnocchi or something. Yes. Gnocchi. Unsuccessfully, because remember I tried to do, there were some other like turnover things that I tried to do and it just was horrible. Yeah, but this is. Yay! Are we going to eat Yay! this first before yeah. we move on to the next Yeah, time? yeah, yeah. Okay, we're going to eat because I'm really fucking hungry. Yay, now it's barbecue time. But this time, what's different is I got company. Hey, baby! You gonna keep your dad company while he barbecues? So we got some uh, cow bee action, marinated meat. Got uh, some grilled pork, pork belly. I haven't grilled in a long, long time, so I'm actually pretty excited. Because uh, this time, not only am I just grilling for myself, but it's to complement whatever Mama Bear is making inside, and I believe she's making kimchi fried rice. So I already have the grill going. I just heat up the grill a little bit. Oh, look at all those embers. Now I just gotta scrub all this off, use this wet paper towel, wipe it off, and then we're ready to rock and roll. What do you think? Do you like the smell of smoke? So this is what I have going on right here. I already seared the pork bellies on that side, and I brought it over just so I can get a nice little crisp, so it's like kind of like crispy like bacon, and I'll slow cook it over here. Then I got the meat going on here, and I realized this fire is really really hot it cooks almost instantly as you can tell like from these marks i literally put it on for probably 30 seconds so i'm not gonna cook here i'm gonna cook somewhere here where i think it'll be a little bit better because if you can look at this edge it's already starting to cook Ooh, nice and brown i gotta flip this over soon this is like one of the most interesting cuts of meat i've ever seen all the bone is at the bottom and then it's this long it goes like all the way up here it was like three feet long so I don't know how I'm going to cook this. Maybe I'll cook that in the high heat or something. But you pretty much have to chop off the meat. But this meat looks super high quality. Look how marble it is. It's going to be so bomb. I am so excited. I finished grilling the main meats. I didn't really know what to do with that bone part. So I put one in here. And hopefully I'll just let it slow cook. And um, that one's crazy charred. But I'll just let this one slow cook. And just see what it looks like when I come out after we're done eating. Maybe it's edible, maybe it's not. But um, pretty much I have to let this little thing just settle down anyways. Left the vents open so it can come out. So we'll see what happens. But we're done cooking here. That was my first time cooking outdoors with Mr. Taika. Did you have a good time? Good boy. I bet you smell all smoky. Good thing today's your little bath day, you little cutie. You little cutie. Good boy. Alright, so it looks like we're ready to rock and roll. I just lost Bob Bear. Where'd you go? I'm Okay, well, I'll explain to you. I made some kimchi fried rice. There's a lot more in a pot behind me, but 
Yeah, kimchi fried rice. We got some panchan. Uh, I didn't make any of this. I will though. I'm gonna start practicing how to make it. <laughs> we got the boy on the table, so he could join us for dinner or lunch. Feels like dinner. Um, and then we got some lettuce and we got some kalbi and some pork belly. And I'm ready to eat. Where are you? He's peeing. I wish you could eat with us. I don't like that you're just here, but your toes are cute. Your socks don't even fit you. The heels should be over here, you big bozo. Come in. You big cutie pie. Yeah. It's uh, kalbi, right? Yeah, this is kalbi, and then this is, uh, this is most of it's medium rare, and then this is uh, pork belly. It's uh, rock and roll, baby. Let's do it. Our first Korean, Korean dinner. Okay. You had your Korean pear, now you have your Korean dinner. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna eat now. This is how I love seeing my house. Clean, organized, 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 clean, organized. Well, that's still drawing, but organized. Oh, everything is so clean and organized. Oh, makes me so happy. Oh, it makes me so happy. Oh. Come on, fun. Let's go up. Come on. Come on. Go up. Let's go see what your dad's up to. Go, 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 go. Go. What's your dad up to? Go. Go. Got a little going on. Dang, Taika is gonna get hooked up. Okay, Papa. Okay. Okay. You're gonna have such a good time with Dad. Look, you baby. Any, um, are there any. Uh, yep, I'll get it for smoke. you. And then uh, when I give him a bath, I always get the diaper ready. So all the things I try to minimize so that he doesn't stay very cold for very long. So that's why I even have the towel over there on the sink. As soon as he comes out, wraps it in there. Bring it over here, lotion, boom, so it's not cold, huh, Mr. Man? All right, let's rock and roll.